bring your hands in a prayer position in front of your heart and we'll begin right away with a little half sun salutation so inhale arms circle down around and up maybe look up and then exhale fold round inhale half lift spine long exhale to fold once more inhale long tall spine lift and on your next exhale fold and step back into downward facing dog take your time maybe bend into one leg and then the other it's still early in the morning any feel good stretches here and then lift your right leg up towards the sky bend the knees stack the hips And then pull that right knee into your chest and step it in between your hands. Left knee comes to the ground for a low lunge. You can lift your hands up, lift your chest towards the sky, greet your day, maybe set an intention for your day ahead here. Let your hips sink down slightly until you feel a stretch in the front of the left thigh. And then hands frame the foot, shifting back onto your back left chin as you straighten the right leg and flex the foot for a runner stretch. Pulling the right hip back so that the hips are square, inhale find length and exhale to fold. Always keeping length in the spine, not collapsing over. Big hamstring stretch here. You can stay here or for an IT band stretch. Lift your right arm up to the sky, twisting open to the right side of the room. So your left hand stays on the mat and you should feel it in your right IT band all the way on the outer edge of that right leg and then release, rebending into the right leg. Step your right leg back into a tabletop position for a few rounds of cat and cow. Exhale, rounding, chin to chest, and inhale, chest lifts. And after your next exhale, press back into downward facing dog to do this routine on the second side. So lift your left leg up towards the sky, bend the knees, stack the hips, big stretch. And then step the left leg through for low lunge on the opposite side. Right knee on the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up, inviting in your new day. Huge breath in. And breathe out, sink deeper into your stretch at the front of your right thigh. On your next exhale, hands frame the foot again, runner's lunge, shifting the hips back in space. Left foot flexes up to the ceiling, pull your left heel towards you to square your hips and to engage your muscles in your leg. Inhale, get long in your spine first, and then exhale, think of sending your heart forward, even if that means not lowering as far down. You can stay here or come into the IT, IT band stretch by lifting your left arm up towards the sky, opening and twisting to the left side, feeling the IT band stretch all the way in the outer edge of your left leg. Try to keep your hips squared here and breathe. On your next exhale, release, bend into your left knee again. And then pressing back into downward facing dog. You can hold your dog pose or you can flow through a chaturanga, so plank, up dog and back into downward facing dog. Let's reach the right leg up to the sky, bend your knees to open up that hip, big stretch here. And we'll step the right leg forward in between our palms to the top of the mat for warrior two. Spin your back heel down parallel to the shorter edge of your mat as you lift up to open through your arms. Sink down nice and low. 
front knee directly over your heel. Coming into extended side angle, you're going to put your right forearm either onto your right thigh or the right fingertips can come down to the floor if you can still maintain length in your spine. But in the mornings, I usually like to keep it on my thigh. Left arm extends up overhead, reaching the left fingertips away from your right foot. Really big side body and inner thigh, hip stretch. Push into the feet to lift all the way back up with your upper body, coming right away into reverse warrior, left hand down, right arm up. Straighten your right leg for reverse triangle pose. Coming into triangle, shift your hips back as you slide your hands down. Your right hand can go wherever feels best for you on your right shin, thigh or on the block. Reaching up to the ceiling through your top hand. You can look up with your gaze or if your neck feels a bit tight, ju just look down or in front of you. Both hands come down to the mat, framing the foot and then step back to downward facing dog and let's do the second side. Left leg rises, bend your left knee to open up the hip and then stepping through, coming into warrior two on the other side. Back foot spins in, open up through the arms and make sure that you don't lose your balance here. Notice if your shoulders have crept up by your ears, relax them down and back. Transitioning to extended side angle. Choose if you want to place your forearm on your thigh or maybe letting the hand come down to the floor. As you stretch out long, try to make your inhale and exhale equal length. And then push into the feet to lift back up right away into reverse warrior. Left hand up, maybe look up, reverse triangle pose, straightening the left leg. And for triangle, Maybe bring your back foot in a couple inches before you send your hips back and lean forward and down with your upper body. The left hand can hold onto your left chin or thigh, or you could also use a block on whatever level serves you best on this day. Your right arm can extend up to the sky. Deep inhales and exhales, and then release palms, frame the foot, step back, into downward facing dog. Press your chest towards your thigh bones and you can hold here or float through a last vinyasa so plank, chaturanga and then upward facing dog and back to downward facing dog. Make any last movements that would feel good for you, so maybe bend one knee and then the other, maybe some hip circles with one leg or the other, bending from side to side. And then come down to the mat into a tabletop position, swing your legs to one side, we will come into Baddha Konasana, butterfly fold, both sole of the feet together, choose a distance that serves you and then inhale, get long and exhale to fold. Try to maintain a long spine, so not collapsing forward. Take two deep breaths here, holding the pose. And then release, straighten both legs out in front of you for Janu Shasana, straight leg forward fold. Inhale, get long, reach your arms up and then exhale to fold over your legs. Maybe you can grab onto your the outsides of both feet, maybe on your shins or the floor. You could always bend your knees here. Just a feel good stretch for your hamstrings. Two more deep breaths in and out through the nose. And then on your next exhale, release, 
Please transition into a comfortable seated position to bring this practice to a close. So cross-legged or kneeling. Hands meet in prayer in front of your heart. Thank yourself for making it to your mat today. From my heart to yours, Namaste.